Brett, the biggest meme coin on the base chain, has 4 x in the last two weeks. Will the pump continue? What scenario is most likely? You'll see in this video, so without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Philprints, your one and only stop for crypto finance and trading. Now, as you can see here, Brett had a massive rally, We're sitting at $1.7 billion in market cap right now. And I basically have to tell you, I told you. Because two weeks ago on May 18th, I made a video about Brett and told you we will likely see a breakout here and it could take us to around 0.17 dollars which will bring us a sweet 4x gain so the videos on my channel you can check for yourself it's this one here is brett back brett coin price prediction and as you can see here it was pretty funny the view count of this video was way less than usual for my channel and this time and time again shows people are not interested when the opportunity is arising, but people start to get interested when a coin already has pumped big and therefore most people in the market lose money here for reference this is the current chart as you can see here this is actually the drawing i've made in the video as well as the circle here on the 1.618 fibonacci level which we right now perfectly hit you can see we perfectly got above the moving average found support there and started rally exactly as i anticipated in my video if you want to start making money as well and not losing all the time then i suggest you join my telegram group right now the link is down below this will also get you access to my free membership which includes one of my indicators a one-hour trading course that explains how to build your own strategy and much more so join now while it's still free this may change for new members in the future all right now the question is what is the situation right now what could we expect from now on and first and foremost we should look at some on-chain data with my token demand analyzer now the first thing that is very interesting and actually very rare is that for the new wallets we can see a massive massive one day spike which leaves all the other days pretty much flat so as you can see here this big bar chart is on may 29th the days before that we got around 1.5k new wallets each day and then on this day it was 103,000. this also reflected in the transaction activity where we got this humongous spike now what's interesting is that on the price chart we actually don't have anything special here on May 29th and I actually couldn't really find out what special event sparked this crazy new adoption of users creating new wallets for Brett. The only thing I could find is that on May 29th Brett was listed on the P2B crypto exchange which is not even a big known exchange. So if you know more about that, please let me know down in the comment section. Now for the holders, meaning the plankton wallets and the whale wallets, small and big wallets, there's actually not too much happening. We basically only have accumulation. People are buying in. But to my surprise, it's not that steep. Normally with crazy pumps like this, I mean, I mean, once again, we, we've seen a 4x in the last two weeks. The wallets are also increasing big time. But here it's a very shallow and gradual increase. For reference, the Plankton wallets have a minimum token balance of 1,000 tokens and, and with the current price of Brett being at $17, this is a wallet value of $170. For the Whale wallets, this is a minimum token balance of 1 million tokens, meaning $170,000 in value. And here for the Whale wallets, you can see there, there's basically nothing happening. The amount of Whale wallets is pretty much flat since March 20th. And this is not specifically a bad sign. On the contrary, whales holding onto their bags means that they have conviction that this project will rise in the future. When we have a look at the hourly chart over the last 30 days for plankton and whale wallets, the accumulation becomes a little more obvious. As you can see here, on May 15th, we had around 60,000 plankton wallets. And right now we have 69,000. Also for the whale wallets, there is some accumulation. As you can see here, on May 9th, for example, we have 756 whale wallets. And right now we have 825. So in the big picture, this is pretty much flat, but in the last 30 days, there is definitely accumulation happening. What's now very interesting is that if we have a look at some statistics of the top 100 wallets holding bread, this is mostly exchanges normally, on a daily, weekly, and monthly, and actually quarterly basis, we're seeing continuous selling. 
Yes, it's mostly hodling on a daily basis, 95%, 92% on a weekly basis, 82% on a monthly basis, but we have constantly way more selling than buying. On a quarterly basis, this is most obvious, 32% selling. This means that exchanges are selling into the pump continuously. And you don't see that too often. I've reviewed so many coins on my channel already. Normally you see there's mostly hodling and then more buying than selling or an equal amount of both. But here it's very obvious. So once again, price 4x in the last two weeks, exchanges, the top 100 wallets are continuously selling into the pump. And we don't have crazy increases in small holders and big holders. So where is the liquidity coming from? Well, there's only one answer here, and that is the centralized exchanges. As you can see here, 22% of the trading volume of the spot market comes from Bybit, 35, nearly 36% from Gate.io. So, so the real buyers that are pumping price right now are on centralized exchanges. This is a black box. We can see how these mostly retail plankton wallets or smart money, big wallets, whale wallets. Also, to me, it seems this is very driven by perpetual contracts, meaning leverage trading. As you can see here, Gate.io on the spot market has $63 million in 24-hour volume. But for leverage trading, we have $291 million in 24-hour volume only on Bluffin, which for Brett has the biggest share, 43% in leverage traders. Then comes Bybit with another $189 million. This is 28% and so on and so forth. So the price move right now is driven by centralized exchanges and on the centralized exchanges, mostly by leverage traders. And this is an explosive combination because leverage traders mostly are looking for short-term gains. And this sets us up for crazy volatility. All right, so let's have a look at the price chart now and see what's telling us at this very moment in time. So as you can see here, the latest signal of my Philprints reversal bands, this one here, this red line, which was printed just yesterday, gave us a nice entry point for the latest pump, which has been to this point in time, 33% alone since yesterday. The signals before that were also pretty nice. Before that, we had this signal and this signal. This one was also very nice. Pumped above, retest, weak, but candle close above it. Rally continued. This signal here, at least on the 4-hour chart, was a bit problematic as we've seen a big dump then to the blue moving average before we reclaimed it, accumulated here, and then continued the rally here. So this was on June 2nd. The signal on the 1-hour chart gave us enough time to exit here as the signal was printed right here. And then we had multiple candles closing below it, but without any significant downside yet. Also, as you can see here on the 1-hour chart, the blue moving average has proven itself to be very important as support. Then for bigger retracements, the gold moving average time and time again. And with all of this in mind, we can now see here we are at this moment trying to establish the 1.618, the price target which I was calling for more than two weeks as support. Let me go back to the four hour chart here. Here it becomes even more obvious. This is forming a wick here. If we manage to close like this and start from here and we don't get an immediate candle close below it with some of the next candles, we could set up for a continuation of the rally to the 2.618 and this would mean from current prices another three and a half x what's also important is as we don't have real price action yet in this area here the volume profile as you can see here is empty we can pump through this area pretty fast but as i've shown you now but but as i've shown you already this rally is mostly driven by leverage traders and they have the time horizon of a goldfish which means we could see crazy volatility in both directions. So if you try to enter right now, I would personally suggest do it on spot only. If you're not super experienced, leverage trading this will wipe out your trading account faster than you can say Brett. So once again, if you're not invested in Brett yet and are looking for an entry right now, look for the 1.618 here to hold. And if we cannot hold it, then look for the blue moving average here as support and a potential buy in place on the four hour and as well on the one hour both the blue and the gold moving average as i said you will get them for free if you join my telegram group so what i mean to say is if we hold this buy a little 
if we go down buy more until the blue moving average on the four hour and the blue and the gold on the one hour chart the thing is to play bread here right now is it is of course way more risky than down here now everyone is looking at bread and here as i said nobody was really looking if you're not subscribed to this channel yet please ask yourself why and do it now you really don't want to miss any of the next videos as always this was not financial advice this was a prince for you until next time crush your markets goodbye